Well, that tune is uh, entitled Beer, Beards, and Barbecue, and it's a ZZ Top sounding kind of a song. Uh, I got it off of uh, Artlist. Uh, I believe I got it off of Artlist, but anyway. Uh, this is just a quick video coming off of an Insta360. It's about four and a half minutes. Insta360 RS uh, done in uh, 360 mode and then reframed down to uh, straight uh, 1080p. I don't understand why, but Grapevine's got a whole bunch of towers in it. Uh, that first one that was highlighted is new. It's only been up a couple of two or three years. Just went up before COVID. There's the train station. You catch the train and take it into downtown Fort Worth. Kind of handy because you can get there to the stockyards, and that's one of the places you want to go. It would be to go to the stockyards if, uh, you know, you came out for a visit or something along those lines. And it's fairly simple. It's about 30 minutes uh, down to Fort Worth and down to the stockyards. Uh, it dumps you out right down there, and the stockyards actually also have Gillies, uh, which is uh, was featured in the old uh, movie uh, uh, Urban Cowboy. Uh, so some of the highlights uh, of the neck of the woods, but you've got a whole bunch of little knick-knacky shops, and coming up here at this uh, crossroads is where they shut the uh, highway down, uh, shut Grapevine Main Street down for each one of the festivals that they have and there's usually at least two except during COVID. Um, that's Jake's, that's a burger joint, it's not bad. Uh, don't buy the milkshakes. Will Hoyt's is really the highlight. You can see all the bikes out front. This is truly a biker bar slash biker restaurant. It's a pretty much a buffet. The last time I was in it uh, still seems to be that way. Um, you've got, uh, you know, combination, the bar side and then the restaurant side. Uh, but as you can tell, a grapevine is pretty much, you know, um, mom and pop-ish. It's not, uh, there are, you know, big places, but it's pretty much, pretty much every knick-knack shop you can possibly imagine. Um, Tolbert's is a good family restaurant. There's a couple of other restaurants, obviously in town, but, uh, they're off the main drag. There's another one coming up here in a minute. Uh, for really good steaks. You can see it uh, starting to get to where we can see it. Um, but uh, these guys on the Harleys are all checking everything out and they just came out of Will Hoyt's. But, you know, if you really want to just spend an afternoon uh, or a morning, uh, most of the shops open up at 10. Uh, you know, you come out this neck of the woods, uh, it, you know, the guys won't do it. But, you know, if you bring your wives, they're going to want to come to downtown Dallas. And here's the other place. This is uh, Dino's Steak and Claw House, and it's got some of the best steaks around. Um, there is actually, in the park, there is the obligatory uh, grape vine and a few other little things. And they'll put up arts and crafts out there, depending upon which weekend it is and how hot it is and things of that nature. Uh, but the town's really kind of quaint, and that's really where it gets its... Um, fame is not so much it does have lots of wine don't get me wrong uh from the name but it just really doesn't have uh here's the old lancaster uh theater uh it just really doesn't have you know uh, a big city presence to it it's a little town in uh, a big city area basically so that's pretty much it there's not much else going on here you've got another side of the park You've got some more growth out here. All this stuff um, coming up on the right, and there's, of course, the tribute to the flags, uh, city and state and uh, the United States. But all this stuff on the left side now was on the right. That's all relatively new since I've been here. It's all fairly new in the last 10 years or so. So it's just a small little lit, and that's it. This is where they shut the end of the road off. So thanks for watching, and uh, be safe out there. Have a great day.